And welcome on into the Boston and Duncan Music Lounge. Make some noise for Gail. It wasn't as high pitch as you used to at the shows, she said. We were talking about all of the high pitch screams I've I've heard over the past like year of opening up for <laughs> incredible artists. Uh, it's been crazy because last time we saw you, we were talking about this was backstage at Kiss concert, and I think we gave you one of our V-Bros jackets. You did, yes, you did. Wow, Gail's a V-Bro. I hope that has a special spot in your. It's hung uh, up on my wall. <laughs> my wall Some, of miscellaneous wow. things. Wow. Somehow I don't believe that, but we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go it's with it. It's my bedroom. Uh, it is crazy though, right? So you've done so many different type of shows now at this point in your career. Where you've done like the radio show, like a Kiss concert where it's a numerous different artists. You've done Open Up for Pink, Open Up for Taylor Swift. You're doing your own tour right now. It's got to feel more special like a, a night like tonight where you're going to be in front of people that are going to sing every one of your songs. And what's that feel like for you? Yeah, I wouldn't particularly say it's like more special i think it's special in different ways you know because like the honor of opening up for like taylor is something that's like always will be special to me and like even last time i was here too i opened up for tate and yeah. like that was really special to me and pink and all the tours but with headlining there's like an obvious intimidation there kind of being like i'm gonna book a venue and see if anybody shows up because a lot of people can not show up and you know i'm i'm new in my career i've only mm -hmm. been doing music for two years and i'm not the most confident person in the world i'm not gonna like set up a show and be like mm, yeah everybody's gonna show up you know um but when people show up that also does make it like so much more special and meaningful because i'm like scared nobody's going to and even if one person shows up like it means so much to me and this is the first time I've had people like sing more than just ABC to me. And obviously it means so much when people even know one of my songs and then to know two yeah. or three or four. And I, you know, and I've had like just some really adorable little ones come to the shows and get posters and like talk about how a little kid can look up to me in like any way. It blows my mind. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> but it blows my mind. That is like so special to me. Yeah. And now speaking of touring with Taylor and Tate and everyone you've obviously opened for, what did you kind of take away or learn from that experience that you brought into now your own tour? Touring with Tate, I really realized I can't dance. You know, I really, <laughs> I really, I really looked to myself and was like, yeah, no, you know. <laughs> I feel the same way doing a radio show with Gianna, so. <laughs> yeah. And then touring with, touring with Pink, I realized I can't do backflip <laughs> or like any calisthenics or anything. Yeah. It's like, I'm out of shape. <laughs> and then touring with Taylor, I was like, I got to be a better songwriter, man. Yeah. Even, I mean, Tate and Pink, like, they just have such great songs and Taylor's such a powerhouse and she has a really, really strong stamina and that's something I really, really respect with that show and she does a beautiful you know, she just doesn't like go on stage within the first three songs, walk all over the stage. You know, mm -hmm. like there, everything is like very like planned out, but it doesn't seem like it's planned out either. Like she just seems like she's just like walking across the stage, right? You know, but there is like a science to it. Obviously, I don't know the exact science to it, <laughs> but I've definitely seen all the like Instagram posts tracking everywhere she like walks on the stage, and it's really cool for me personally to see like how she throughout the song slowly like moves this over the stage and like I remember I saw her play reputation and I felt like she saw me mm. when I was at the last seat in the stadium I literally thought I was this close for meeting her I was like no 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 no, no. <laughs> like she's gonna see me and then be like who's that girl and then we're gonna meet backstage and then I'm gonna like be on her bus and then we're just gonna become <laughs> best friends <laughs> you know that I really thought that that was going to happen yeah. mm -hmm. you know and like it's it's not an easy thing to make a person like feel that so seen in such a h huge venue. Yeah. Um, so those are some things that I've learned. And, and you and Taylor connected, if I'm correct, but you were you had an award for writing yes. years ago, and then mm -hmm. she was kind of there and saw you, right? Yes. Yeah, so actually, it was just about like a year ago. I played the NSAI awards, mm -hmm. and she saw me sing for like three minutes, and I don't know what I did or what happened, but within those three minutes. She made up her mind in some way. I, I don't know. I could not tell you. I think about sometimes what she was thinking because yeah. I didn't know she could see me. You know, I didn't think about, oh, like Taylor Swift is watching me play right now. Yeah. I just I wasn't thinking about that. And then I walked off stage and then I got backstage and then she was there and she walked out of her room and she was like, oh, my God, like, hi, you did such a great job. Like, I, I specifically remember her saying, um, congratulations on all your success and I was like 
<laughs> I was like looking around. And I was like, who? That's who, awesome. What? That's and um, yeah. I remember thinking like, that was so nice. And then I was obviously, she was winning artist slash writer of the decade, like a decade. <laughs> I've, I haven't even been alive for two of decades. You know, like, <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, like this is insane. And she literally, like she was just talking to me and I still, I was floating. I was like, oh my gosh, like. I respect you so much. I was like thanking her for like mm. being such an inspiration inspiration for like women in songwriting and pop music in Nashville. I mean, she's just a blueprint for so many people and I was just thanking her for like paving the way and then she was kind of like, oh my God, like, well, like, are you doing stuff next year? And I was like, yeah, I'm trying like in the middle and I was at this point where I was like, oh my God, like, last year I had this song, like, what am I going to do next year? What's my life? What's it all going to look like? And then she was just kind of like, oh my God, are you, do you tour? And I was like, yes, ma'am. Like I tour, like, I'm yes, trying to, ma'am. yes, ma'am. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Officer. Like, uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, yes, yes, I do tour. Um, I'm touring next year, but I, I had not, I didn't have anything set. And I was like, I'm trying to create plans. And she was like, oh my God, like, well, like, do you open up for people? And I don't know why I said this, but I looked at her and I was like, I open up for people who ask me to <laughs> Ooh, okay. open up for them. And she was like, I'm going to call you. <gasps> wow. And I was like, I fell to the floor. I literally like fell. And then I was like, you can totally take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally take like, it back. But can you take it back right now? <laughs> like totally like take back. Ha ha. Ha ha. Funny joke. But like, please, please, if you mean it mean it <laughs> like you know Please and my me. mom was in the crowd she had no clue what I was doing backstage and then my best friend was right next to me and her mom was in the crowd too and then I went to Waffle House <laughs> with <laughs> my mom and my you best friend and every her mom moment of the situation. Well, how could I forget yeah. this is I'm gonna be talking about this till I'm 80 you know like yeah. I'm gonna be like if anybody is like oh Taylor Swift, did you know <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> well so there's one silly little time you know yeah. and like I went to Waffle House and I was like mom you're going to think I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. You're going to think I'm crazy. But I think she maybe just like asked me to maybe open up for her. Yeah. And she lost her mind. <laughs> like <laughs> my mom was like, my baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm not surprised. I'm like, I'm surprised. What are you talking about? Wow. Like, and, um, yeah, she. I think she literally almost had a heart attack yeah. watching me play the Such first show. Such a proud show. mom. That's awesome. I think I almost had a heart attack. There's this famous video in my family now where I think it's really funny because she was. I was playing ABC and she was bawling, crying. So just imagine like a grown woman just being like ABC, like tears <laughs> rolling down her face, and then my brother was right next to her, dead face, like just literally like. <laughs> wow. Didn't my mom's care. crying and she's like, oh, and then it goes to my brother and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you ever actually cried on stage or teared up i've cried s an embarrassing even though emotions are not embarrassing and everything you feel is valid but mm. i have cried an embarrassing amount of times yeah. i think i cried three or four times on the eras tour the first show i cried because i i was going to say the phrase thank you to taylor swift for having me to open up for you and then it went thank you to taylor swift for <laughs> open me thank you because i was just staring at the super bowl yeah. You know, yeah. I was just like, yo, Rihanna played here. <laughs> like, this is crazy. It's wild. And then um, I saw Taylor play at Reputation. And then four years later, I got to open up for her in the same venue I saw her That's play wild. at. And I, I kind of wanted to say a little bit of a sentiment. Like, I was this little kid who wanted to be on that stage. And somehow I found a way to be on that stage. And obviously, be due to our queen, Taylor. And I, I kind of was trying to say the sentiment, you know, if you have something that you want to achieve and you're sitting there in that stadium and you're thinking like, I want to do this thing. I hope that maybe you can see this and think like maybe you can do the things that you want to do and like you can like achieve your dreams. But then when I went to say that, I was like, ah, like my dreams came true. Maybe <laughs> yours can too. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, and like wow. there's, and then there's times where I sing the last course of ABC and people are singing along with me and you can hear my voice cause it gets shaky. I'm like, give you a <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. And then I cried two or three days ago on the headlining show. Cause I have the song called God is a sense of humor. And more people sang along to it than I'd ever seen in my whole entire life. Wow. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. To hear people sing one of your songs is like, wow. And then when they start to sing a few, you're like, whoa. And then especially when it's like a song about how I struggle with religion. And then people are like, me too. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And yeah, so I, I cry a lot. <laughs> 
I get that. Yeah. I, I cry. I'm constantly crying. Mikey knows. I'm yeah. always crying. She, she does a pre-show cry every yeah, afternoon, yeah. right around this time. So I have a pre-show yeah, throw up. We, you know, I kind of throw up, cry. and then I walk on stage, and yeah. I'm fine. I love that for you. Well, um, obviously, touring with Taylor is amazing, but you are on your very own headlining tour right now, which is honestly even more amazing, in my opinion. Oh, my goodness. Um, it is the Scared But Trying Tour. Yes. I feel like that's a phrase everyone can relate to, but kind of break it down for us. How did that come to be? Well, I think over the past, I'm when I when I kind of was thinking of over the past couple months for me and my past touring, a sentiment that I kind of got told a lot when people are calling me, they're just like, "You're so confident, you're so confident, it's so like so powerful, like you just aren't worried about anything." And I'm like, "Whoa, <laughs> okay, not confident, very worried, mm -hmm. very nauseous, you yeah. know," and like. I feel like people, sometimes I felt like the sentiment of like, well, you just must be like so happy. Everything went great for you. You have all these shows and you're so confident on stage and everything's great. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. There's no rule book. I'm like making everything up as I go. I might seem confident on stage, but I'm so scared. I have no idea if I'm good or not. And I think... I've learned over the past two years, because also like when your music starts doing well and anybody starts paying attention to you, it's terrifying. You're like, oh God, people are looking at me. Oh God, oh God. And I'm a teenager. I do something and then a week later I hate it, you know, mm -hmm. myself. And then having a digital footprint attached to that is, <laughs> it's an intimidating thing. Oh, and, yeah. and so, and I, I just sometimes felt like people just wanted me to be this like confident thing and I had to be like powerful especially this ABC song like I'm just like yeah but it's like <laughs> <laughs> I like don't tell people to F off and that's why I wrote that song because I never I never was outspoken about those things and that's why I got to the point where I was so frustrated to write ABC and I think mm. sometimes I'm so insecure that I'm trying so hard to be good that people think I'm just like confident yeah. because I'm like trying really hard and so I didn't I wanted people to know truly how I was feeling, you mm -hmm. know, and the reality is that I'm scared and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm really intimidated all the time, but I'm still trying anyways, you know, and I'm so, I don't want to like let my intimidation and my fear stop me from trying to do what I want because I'd rather fail than not try. I'd rather look back at my life and regret the things that I've done rather than the things that I haven't done. Um, so that's kind of the sentiment with that tour and, you know, it's scary to put up a tour and Nobody can buy tickets, you know? I can yeah. perform to empty venues, and I've been very lucky to not, and that's been amazing. Absolutely. And, and it's amazing. F you scalpers, though. Yeah, yeah. You frustrate me. You're mean. You hurt my feelings. And it's amazing. Rude. To put, to put yourself out there like that. Um, obviously, you were saying that you've been on the road for, what, 20-some-odd days now? I thought you were about to say 20 years. I was no. like, yeah. She was like, I'm 20, not, years 20 years old. In the womb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was on stage opening up for her mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, yeah, my mom did say I came out of the womb singing. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Just, just I feel like that just joke really garbage. like sat in everybody's brain. <laughs> sorry, for a second. Sorry. Really, that one aged really beautifully. Um, yeah, I think it's been like 23 days I've been on the road, and yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and you're finally getting home. Hopefully, you'll be in your own bed for once I get again. To go home in five glorious days, but also like. Sometimes when I'm on tour, I'm like, I miss my bed. But then I go to my bed and I'm like, I miss tour. Yeah. You know? Mm. So it's kind of that in between where what I really miss is like a refrigerator, mm. a grocery store, yeah. a mm. car whenever you want it. I want to get in my car, go to the grocery store, put things in my refrigerator, make eggs. You know what I miss? I miss getting water putting ice in, getting water, drinking it. You can't do that on a bus. Yeah, all, water bottle life. All you have life. is water bottles All everywhere. you have is yeah. a water bottle life and all I drink is coffee. And like, I to make myself a cup of coffee. Oh. Oh. I also miss my dog. My oh. dog, here's the thing. My dog has gotten so mad at me, it's not okay. So my, my brother went to college and she started pooping in his room, right? Because she was mad. <laughs> Well, guess whose room she started pooping in? Uh -oh. Mine. And I live wow. in my basement, and nobody goes downstairs in the basement. So she finds a way to open the door, mm. and she started peeing and pooping in my basement multiple times a day. And so there will be a week, and my mom will go downstairs to my room, and Just she's full. like, 
She's like, your your dogs had a wild time. Wow. Are you, are you sure you're excited to go home now? I know. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm kind of scared. She's like, oh, I need to steam clean your carpet. And I'm like, oh no. Like, wow. Oh, I'm scared. But no, I miss her. But she she's mad at me. She gets mad at me. She won't let me pet her for like the first day I'm home. And I'm like, Simba, like I miss I'm you. Back. Let me love you. Aww. Let me love you. And she doesn't. But it's okay. I'll earn her love. I'll get it back. Well, you are, you are getting home just in time for like Thanksgiving. Yes. What would be your dream Friendsgiving. Who would you put at the table for Gail's Friendsgiving? Oh, she's ready. Okay, here's the thing. I'm doing my first Friendsgiving this Perfect. year. I'm so excited. Um, my uh, family used to be really big and then they all got divorced and hated each other. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing the first Thanksgiving back, you know, yeah. kind of <laughs> rebuilding back the family, you know. Amazing. And I, this is my first kind of like adult Thanksgiving. Like I was coordinating food with my mom and yeah. it's so weird because I'm like, oh my God, we can make pecan pie. We can make pumpkin pie, apple pie. We can make a turkey. We can make like a lemon sage turkey. Turkey. And I'm oh. like, are we the family that puts the Coca-Cola can in the turkey? <laughs> or are we do the lemons? Like, what type of family are we? And I was like, oh, my God. Becoming an adult yeah. is like being the person cooking the Thanksgiving for everybody. Yeah. But if, if I that's did, the truth, I'm still not an adult. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just really excited to, like, make the food for everybody. I invited all my friends. My bandmates are going. Like, everybody's going. But if I would put it in, like, people I've toured with or any of those things, obviously, I would have Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that would be amazing. Honestly, I'd probably just have the whole Eras tour crew. Okay. Like that would all just be awesome. Like even just like Sabrina's like the best girl in red. Gracie, Muna, Owen. I'm Paramore. Paramore. Haley Williams. Like yeah. be like, hey, if you want to come over for Thanksgiving or whatever, like that'd be great. <laughs> Shoot um, your shot. Uh, I'm trying to think. Chris Olsen. Ooh. I would really. Dylan Mulaney. Oh, I yes. love the both of them so much. Anytime I see them at award shows or anywhere, I just have so much fun with them. And I feel like they are like my like my um, aunt and uncle. Like I just need everything from the both of them. I love Whenever the both I need. Of them. Anytime I'm scared, I'm like, Mom, Dad, help me. I'm scared. <laughs> Dylan, uh, Chris. I would love Megan Trainer's family. There. Oh wow! You know, she's like from Megan, ca- the they're husband. kind of from around here too. The, she has two little babies. They're so yeah. cute. I feel like to have like a full Thanksgiving, you have to have some little kids like <laughs> running, running around, around screaming. I think it'd be funny to invite all of my brother's ex girlfriends. Oh. You know, probably be funny actually my brother has this one ex-girlfriend i so miss you i think about her all the time they did it for like three years and i'm like wow probably i'll probably get coffee with her at some point oh. we miss you gianna this would be quite a oh that's gianna's name well, we love gianna. no wow. wonder why they're exes that's shout Gianna's out a little. shout out <laughs> i hope she sees this xoxo i miss you i feel like that friends giving needs like a tv show or something oh 100 oh, mostly I'll, because the exes are showing i'll up. fake that film it, it you know i'll Please. i'll set up gopros yeah. edit it like a reality tv show i'd watch it and it'd be great um i feel like any housewife or the like the like Beverly Hills housewife or like anything mm-hmm. Jersey any anyone's welcome anyone's welcome wow. also Open door Abby policy. Lee Miller I just feel like add that <laughs> Abby? In for chaos no wouldn't that be awesome like she is the controversial one at Thanksgiving you know <laughs> she's like girl you got to have the work no, you know what's crazy I met her once right but this what? is so randomly when I was 12 I went to the reality television music awards not okay. music awards I put music in there for no reason but it was the re- reality television show awards and I for some reason was sat in the section next to dance moms and I was 12 and I was freaking out and I met Jojo Siwa oh. and I was like wow and this is when she like had the high ponytail and bow era <laughs> and Abby was talking to somebody and I was 12 and I was trying to like build up the courage to go up and talk to her and I and I will admit that this was bad etiquette and she was in the middle of talking to somebody and I went up to her and I was like excuse me I would really love to take a picture and she said excuse me I'm in the middle of having a conversation so you can wait till I'm done with my conversation and then you can ask me and Ooh. I was like okay and so then she went back to the conversation and I just stood there and then she <laughs> stopped the conversation and said okay now and then I was like can I please have a picture I was so embarrassed for the rest of the night I will never let that down ever in my life I was so embarrassed but I have the picture with her that's iconic and it was though. worth it I would love to say that I got yelled at by Abby Lee yeah, it was no. honestly iconic but my stomach dropped like my stomach dropped I was like I was like a little kid like I was just so embarrassed but now wow. I hold it near and dear to my heart that's Love amazing. That. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Congrats <laughs> again on all the success. <laughs> thank you. One more time, make some noise for Gail. And thank you guys for coming by the Dunkin' Music so Lounge. Thank you so much.